we're going to continue on with jQuery selectors. Now jQuery also provides a selector to select all the even numbered elements. So let's say we wanted to select all the even numbered div elements. We would simply come here and we would put in div and of course that is the CSS type selector. And then of course like I said in the last video we need a colon and that kicks off the jQuery selector and then we just put in even. And this will select all the even numbered div elements and of course it will hide them. So which div elements are those? Well let's scroll up here and this first section, the left section, would actually start out with the number zero. Remember computers like to always start out with zero. So this will be selected because it's a zero. The center will be number one and of course that's an odd element so that won't be selected. The right section will be two and of course that's an even element so that will be selected and our button will be three and that of course is odd so that won't be selected. So if this works correctly the center section and our button will not be hidden because they were not selected. The left section and the right section because they are even will be selected and they will be hidden. So let's go ahead and run this. And if we hit our button, there you can see the center section and our button are not hidden because they are odd numbered elements. So let's close this out. Now you're probably guessing, hey, we can also select the odd number elements. And you guessed it, we just put in odd right there. And now it'll be the reverse. Our button and our center section should now be hidden. So let's go ahead and run this. And if we hit our button here, that's exactly what happened. The button now is hidden, and the center section is also hidden as well. And let's go ahead and refresh our page here. Now jQuery also provides a neat little selector that allows us to key off a particular set of text. So we can actually select text in these elements to hide the text. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste the line here because I've already typed it out and then I'll explain it. So what we want to do is select the paragraph element that contains the word center. And you can see our center section has a paragraph that contains the word center. So this paragraph element will be selected because we put the word center here. And that's what this contains jQuery selector does. You can basically put any type of text in there that you want to find and then that will select the element that contains that particular text. And in this case, it will hide everything that's in this paragraph element, which of course is right here. So let's close this out. Let's go ahead and save this and we'll watch our page again. And now if this works correctly, this paragraph element and all of its content should be hidden. So let's go ahead and hit that and it is. You can see all the text now is hidden. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. In the next video, we will continue on with jQuery selectors.